Hello and welcome to Lydia Hawk Designs. Today I would like to go over a neat trick for framing your freeform crochet monarch butterfly. We have our completed butterfly. We've also got some pins. I got these in the sewing section of a hobby store. I'm only going to use four. Obviously you can use however many you want. But what I like about them is they've got a black ball on the end. And that black ball is going to be camouflage when we attach it to each corner of our butterfly to the paper in our frame. I found this shadow box at the 99 cent store for just a few dollars, not 99 cents, but still very affordable. I also have a wrench and let's get started. I'm going to use a pair of scissors I'm not crazy about, not my fabric scissors. I'm going to open up the frame. I shared my original butterfly on Reddit and someone commented that they'd really like one framed for their grandmother who, if memory serves, farms butterflies. And I thought, what a great vegan choice for framing a butterfly. I'm gonna remove our back. And as pretty as this design is, I really wanna use this shadow box for my butterfly. Now the butterfly is really light. This comes with two sheets of fairly thick paper. And even though the butterfly is light, I'm not going to discard this. I'm going to use it as a reinforcement backing. So basically what I want to do is line up this paper as perfect as possible. I'm going to set my butterfly on it. I'm going to center it exactly where I want it. And you could potentially just use thick paper to replace this. Two sheets of thick paper maybe. Or cardboard. Something not too thick though unless you were interested in using cardboard and replacing this. But right now I just want to use what I have. Once I have my butterfly centered the way I want it, I'm going to take my pin. I need it to go through my butterfly, but then I don't want the end of this here. I'm going to take my wrench and I'm going to bend it. And I'm thinking about a fourth of an inch is all I really need to go through the yarn and the paper. So about like that. So I've got my little right angle here. I'm going to do that with all four pins. Like I said, about a quarter of an inch and then I'm just going to use my thumb to press it down into a 90 degree angle. Great. Now that we have all four, I am going to carefully find the spot where I want it to go in and then holding it in place I'm going to puncture the paper on the other side and then I'm going to pull it down. So now we've got it in exactly where we want it and on the back we're going to take tape and we're going to tape this down.
I'm just still making sure the paper is lined up. Just take a long piece of tape and secure it to the back. All right. Now that we've got that side down, let's do the opposite side. This design's a little old, so this wing is a little short. This won't be the final butterfly, but that's okay. I'm gonna make sure I do this in a way that I can replace it. But you do it on all four sides, so one, two, and then I would reinforce again right on either side here tape it down. You've got a beautiful frame butterfly. <laughs>